We need to put our heads together about Kale's studies. Hey! Once dinner's over, I'll tell them the joke I came up with yesterday. Oh, Haytham also got my invite, right? Will he be coming to join us? Hmm. <laughs> that guy? He's never been a fan of social gatherings. I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Are you sure? All right, then. I guess we won't wait for him. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I mean, maybe we should give him a little more time. We can keep chatting for a while longer. Oh. Sure. You still haven't told me. What's the occasion for getting us together here at Pardis DI? We're celebrating the end of the first phase of Kale's studies. I wanted to thank you all for the help you've given her along the way. Then where's Kale? She said she wanted to show everyone a bit of what she's learned, so she's still doing some last minute prep at home. She'll be here shortly. Anyway, let's get started. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I'm actually not so confident that the second phase will go as well as the first. The curriculum will become a lot more involved, and I'm worried that she won't be able to get through all of it. I was hoping we could brainstorm about it together before she gets here. I knew this wouldn't be just a simple free dinner. Is that why you also invited all Haytham? Yes. I thought it would be good if we could all put our heads together about this. Anyway, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. What did you guys do when you ran into a problem that you didn't know how to solve? Or got assigned a project that you knew you weren't going to finish on time? Never happened to me. I'd just pull another all-nighter. You two are hopeless. Does anyone have a more useful answer to the question? Ooh, that's a good point. Confidence is the most important thing. Once you lose your sense of confidence, it'll become all but impossible to find the motivation to study. Hmm. This could be a potential direction. I have already redesigned the literacy curriculum, and I was originally hoping to ask Al Haytham for his opinion, but... It's very simple. Instead of focusing on the amount of material you would like to teach, focus on the amount the student would be able to remember. Wow, you actually showed up. I could probably count the number of times you've actually come to gatherings like this on just one hand. It's still more than the number of times you've managed to get a proposal approved on the first try. Hmm. As long as you're still aware. So, what made the difference this time? Are you looking to drink your sorrows away with some friends? That's your purpose for being here, not mine. Don't project your ways of thinking onto me. So you're saying the only reason you came is to help Tainari with his brainstorming? Precisely. Kale will have a long road in front of her. Hey, just to get one thing clear. Even if Kale manages to make her way to the Academia, we cannot let her enroll in her Avatat. Kasharwar is obviously the best choice for her. She's been a trainee forest ranger for so long, she'll definitely be good with her hands. What are you saying? Spontamad is the better choice. It's where I graduated from, after all. Then what about Amorta? That's the Darshan her master actually graduated from. There are only two other Darshans left. We might as well select all of them on her enrollment application. You? I'm trying to have a serious discussion here. Traveler, you aren't associated with any of the six Darshans. In your opinion, which Darshan would be the best choice for Kale? Well said. Agreed. And my goal in inviting you here was to gather some thoughts on the execution of this second phase. Phase 2 far exceeds Phase 1 in both curriculum complexity and the speed of instruction. I hope Kale has prepared herself for what is coming. Hey, what are you thinking now? Please don't tell me you're planning on lending her those abstruse books from your home library. Actually, I was thinking about lending her a professions guide. I'll make sure to write, Don't Become an Architect, on the front page of that. <laughs> you're right, I can't deny that. Is there another phase after phase two? What's the ultimate goal of all of this? 
Are we trying to prepare her for a job in the academia? Uh, <laughs> we don't need to think that far ahead. Uh, hold that thought, though. I think my vegetables are done. I'm telling you, that client had no idea what he was talking about. No matter what I did, he had something bad to say about it. Have you considered finding another client? Ah, they're all the same. I haven't had a good night's sleep for months now. <laughs> Who do they think they are, ordering me to alter my design over and over again just because they have some mora? It's too late now to change careers. You might as well try to find some joy in the pain. Besides, you'll be getting up in the middle of the night to make edits to your own design even when the client doesn't request it. No. That's not true. Cheer up, Cave. <laughs> I'll tell you a new joke. We'll save that for the end, Sino. You can keep it to yourself until then. <laughs> I... Whatever. I'm not going to use my brain anymore. Let's drink tonight to our heart's content. <laughs> <laughs>